This is me four and a half years ago. Yes, I was over 300 pounds, and if you asked me to run 100 meters, well, I'd pass it on the ground and probably not be able to get back up. Just, just being honest, that's the way it was. Today, I wanna to share with you five things that helped me start running when I was overweight in hopes that you'll be able to find running and use it to be able to change your life just how it's changed mine. Since then, I've completed multiple half Ironman events, multiple half marathons. I crave running each and every day. And I would argue that it changed more than just my physical appearance, but also my mental outlook on life. I wanna share that with you because it's super powerful. Let's get into these five tips. These aren't gonna be the generic tips you'll hear, such as run one minute, walk one minute, run a lamppost, walk a lamppost. Those are all great and something that you should consider when you're starting running, but I don't think they show the whole picture for someone that's overweight that wants to start running. A lot of the time, these articles and videos are made from people who haven't been overweight that are runners that wanna help people who are overweight start running. They don't know the full picture and what it really feels like to be overweight to start running. That, that's a lot of overweight and running said there. The point is, someone that's overweight needs a more of a mental approach to start running. When I started running, it was more of a mental shift rather than a physical shift. Yes, the physical parts of running did suck when I started running. There's, there's no way around it. It's gonna suck before it gets better, but you just have to trust that it will get better. And you may even become like me, someone that's completely obsessed with running. If that's something you want, if that's something you want. So with that out of the way, here's tip number one, and that is to reframe your mindset. What I mean by this is most times people start running when they're overweight because they wanna lose weight. So they're an overweight person who's running to lose weight. That seems fine, right? It is fine. But I think the better way to approach it and to reframe your mindset is to shift your identity to someone that is a runner who is just a little bit overweight that needs to drop some pounds. And they're gonna do that because they're a runner. Running will burn those calories and make you lose that weight. As long, of course, as you're not eating a horrible diet, you will lose the weight through running. So you're just a runner who is a little bit overweight. What that helped me do is to build the confidence to be a runner put my shoes on, get out that door each and every day without feeling ashamed that I'm an overweight person who needs to run to lose weight. No, I'm just a runner who's a little bit overweight and that's totally fine because runners come in all shapes and sizes. So reframe your mindset to be a runner rather than an overweight person who needs to run. Tip number two is to take baby steps. Now I don't mean actual little baby steps. What I mean by this is to go out there for a short amount of time and stop even if you think you can go longer. So what this helps you do is to build confidence again. It's all about building confidence because when you're overweight, I know what it's like. I know you don't have confidence at all. You're very ashamed about what your body looks like and you shouldn't be because you're a runner who's gonna lose the weight because you run and you're gonna take the baby steps to get there. So by the baby steps, I mean go out there starting off at say five minutes or so. And even if you think you can go longer than five minutes, stop at five minutes, go back inside, have a drink of water and relax and go again tomorrow. Build up gradually, don't push yourself because if you push yourself, you're gonna be sore, you're gonna be hot, you're gonna have a bunch of cramps and you're not gonna wanna go back out there tomorrow and run. So if you start off by going out for five minutes and then build up to 10 minutes when you feel that 10 minutes isn't hard, you'll eventually get up to 30 minutes and you won't think 30 minutes is long. It's just building on that without pushing yourself too, too hard at the beginning. Now, once you start to lose weight, of course you can get out there and push yourself more and more. But I found for the majority of people and myself, pushing myself at the beginning of losing weight wasn't the right thing to do because I got easily discouraged. I had the mindset of I'm gonna hurt each and every time I go out for a run, so I don't wanna go out for a run. So know what I did? I made sure that I stopped before I started hurting and did that each and every time to make sure that I never hurt and I wanted to get back out there the next day because I felt fantastic after the run. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button right down there and potentially even hit the like button. We're gonna be talking all about running gear, running shoe reviews, running while overweight, helping you become a better, more confident runner. That's the whole goal here. I wanna share my experiences with running for you to learn from and for me to learn from you. So make sure to drop comments down below. Let's get back onto the video. Tip number three is to find a pair of plus shoes such as this one right here. So what I mean by plush is a lot of foam, something that's gonna be able to compress and protect your joints and your body from the pounding that you're gonna be going under. 
because when you're overweight, your joints are gonna be under a lot of stress. And that's why sometimes people think that running is not good for their body, but it's all about starting low and slow, having the proper gear. That's all it comes down to really. So if you can find a pair of shoes like this that have a lot of plush cushioning, I have this one as well as a shoe called the uh, Saucony Triumph 17. Those are great options for people that are a little bit overweight. Now they may not work for you. Shoes are very individual, but for me, having a plush shoe really, really did help be more comfortable during those starting miles. So yes, tip number three is to find a pair of plush shoes or just a shoe that works well for you. Definitely go to a running specialty store and they will definitely help you find the correct pair. Tip number four is something personal to me, but I feel that this is kind of something that a lot of people struggle with when they first start running when they're overweight. And that is not wanting people to see you when you're out there running. Now I would be so embarrassed to have anyone around me watch me run because well, there was a lot of jiggling going on and there was a lot of sweat going on and there was a lot of discomfort going on. So I didn't want to have anybody seeing me in that state. So what I did was find very quiet streets around my neighborhood. I was fortunate to live in a pretty secluded area so I could get out there without the chance of anyone really seeing me. But if that's not something you have the option for, drive a little bit and find a quiet street and run up and down it. So yes, if you want to limit the exposure you have to people seeing you when you're out there running, find a quiet street and put that one foot in front of the other. Let's move on to the final tip. Tip number five is to prioritize recovery and mobility. Being overweight, you're likely coming from a sedentary lifestyle, something that you're not moving around a lot, so your body's gonna be tight and not used to moving. So what we need to do is to make sure that we're treating our body properly and getting in the proper stretching routine after and before a run and focusing on mobility. So I'm gonna do a whole video on beginning running mobility and stretching routines that I would suggest you do. For right now, just focus on stretching the areas that are really tight and doing some like butt kickers and that type of stuff before a run to make sure you're warmed up properly. So you're not going out there completely cold. You have some mobility into those muscles, some blood flowing, you're feeling great, and you're ready to get out there and start running. So that's gonna be all for today, folks. I hope those five tips gave you some value and help you on your beginning running journey. Let me know in the comments section down below if you've just started running or are hesitant about running, or if you've been running for a long time and you just felt like watching the video. All right, guys, thank you all so much for making it to the end of the video. I will catch you on the next one. We're gonna do a whole series on running while overweight and beginner runner stuff. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right down there. I really appreciate it and I will see you on the next one.